Hello everyone, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Supersonic Racers, or Daredevil Derby 3D, if you want to call it that. Uh, in the last episode, we played with... Blaston, was it? In uh, One vs. One. So today we're gonna play with Varuka. And no, not One vs. One with Blaston, we did Championship with Blaston, I think. I think it was Blaston. Pretty sure. We're gonna do Knockout with Aruka. Knockout is a game mode that I explained it a bit earlier. Um, basically, you just you do 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 do. There's like eight people starting, and the last place in every single round gets limited until there's one person standing, which hopefully will be you. When there's only three people left, that's unfortunately the hardest um, round in the game. Unfortunately, it's so late uh, in the game. But we're gonna we're gonna give it our best here. Hopefully, we'll be able to. <laughs> kick some ass. Uh, the first few levels are super easy, like this one. Uh, City Starters? Is that? No, that's not it. Uh, I don't remember the name of this one, actually. Um, but it's pretty easy. There's, like, one major huge jump later in here, but uh, it's usually not. Um, another thing about uh, Knockout is that when, if you get first place in the last round, then you'll start first in the next round. Like, right now, since... Um, we all, uh, you know, this is the first round, everybody started together, but in the next round, if I get first place, I will start three and a half seconds before the seventh place. So coming in last is definitely a huge disadvantage. Uh, there won't be a different difficult level here before the final five or final four. I don't quite remember. There's like two difficult levels here that are like impossible to, or not impossible, but you can really mess up there. You have to like really keep your wits about you and drive super correctly because the enemy will be super difficult to beat on those levels. Oh shit, I forgot to turn. <laughs> and the final will be um, super easy. So I can't promise you that we'll make it all the way to the final and if we don't, then we're gonna give it another shot. Um, oh god, that was too much. Uh, doesn't matter. We're gonna get get down to maybe fourth place or something. Yep, fourth place. I'm psychic. I will be able to like... Oh no! Stop it! How rude! Okay, fourth place, I, I guess. How oh, we're doing! I thought we were gonna do. We were doing so well until I messed up the jump. Okay, but uh, then we're gonna prove our point on with like the earlier you or the better your ranking in the first round, the better you will start in the next round. So we got fourth place. Not good, but we'll survive until the next round. No doubt about that. But damn, that was annoying. I think Lucy is the one who's going to get eliminated. Just a hunch. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to find out in a second. It's usually Lucy. Boom! It's Lucy. Uh, <laughs> after first round, this is actually, if we push Dr. Diab Di Diabolical back to second place and us in first place, that's how the entire round approximately will go. Um, so now it's time for Lava Laps. We haven't done this one either. It's a super small level. You can finish the round, one round in like 15 seconds, almost. Uh, but once again, we're going to start later than all of the other people. Uh, or at least later than Duncan, Oswald, and Dr. Diabolical. You'll see what I mean. So, you see now, we are already one second at least behind the first place. He gets to leave now. We get to leave now. And that actually makes quite a difference. But And this uh, level, since it's so short, doesn't really feature a whole lot of shortcuts. So we really need to, like, work for our... Um, First place here, but boom, here we go. Ooh, and thank you for the speed boost there, Oswald. Didn't really need to do that, but uh, since this level is so short, like, the most important thing is just to remember where those plants are and stones, so you do the jumps correctly, or you avoid the jumps, uh, which is, like, better. Boom! Back in first place. Oh, now I talked I talked over her laugh. My fault. Okay, I think actually Oswald got second place now. Didn't he have a uh, or second place last time too? But Dr. Diabolical fell down to a second place. Impressive. And it was Blastem who was retired now. Marfa is going to be the next one, I can promise you. Here's one of my favorite levels, actually. Cannon Castaway. Um, we're going to go into a pirate ship, and we're going to get sent away into oblivion. No, not into oblivion, but we're gonna send we're pretty send pretty far away. Or not far away. It's just, I just think it's a cool level, okay? And I also love Baruka's design. She's like this old fashioned thing. <laughs> love it! Love it! 
Uh, this is another level where there are actually many shortcuts, but I'm not really sure if there are shortcuts. Makes sense, right? Yeah, I'll show you almost immediately here. Like, uh, here we have the opportunity to go over some land, and I'm not sure if that is a shortcut compared to not doing that, because it seems to be that we have pretty favorable um, currents during the entire game here, or during the entire round. I I'm not really sure if that's the case or not. I'm really not, but I think so. Do, do. Yeah, I guess we can check. Is it quicker? Like, I can't tell. Maybe it's like almost exactly the same. Whatever. Do, do. At least we're doing an impressive first place there. Whee! <laughs> so cute. And once again, I love this level. I really do. I think it's adorable and. It's so easy, and it's one of those levels that I always remember. Even when I'm like 80 years old and I've forgotten everything about this game, I'll still remember this uh, particular round. Okay, I won't have forgotten the game, but I will still remember... Oops, I forgot to turn. I <laughs> I still will have been... Like, I will still remember this particular round, because I don't know, there's just something very memorable about it for me. Okay, Dr. Diabolical seems to have fallen down to a third place. Hmm, interesting. And Duncan has fallen down to a fifth place, apparently. Johnny suddenly came into view right now, but it should be Slot and, Mar and Marfa who falls out, yeah. Here we go with maybe the first one that can be a bit difficult if you're new to this game. This one ha features, is very, very, very small, perhaps the smallest level in the game, and it features many, many sharp, sharp, sharp turns. It's on a rooftop in Persia. Super cool level, I love it. But, you know, look at Oswald, by the way, he's gonna fall out. It's like an unwritten rule. The first or the second place uh, character here will always fall out in this turn. Just watch it. Boom, told you. It's like the computer is incapable of making it over, almost like we are. And that's the entire level. My record here is like 14 seconds and 30 milliseconds. Super quick, because I'm awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is going well, but for new new drivers or new players of this game, damn it, I, s I promise you, it's because I'm talking to you guys at the same time that I'm losing concentration here. I'm much better than this normally. Um, <laughs> Oswald fell out again. That's like a blessing in disguise, or not even a blessing in disguise, it's a blessing. Oh, hey, Johnny, you're in first place now. Wow, what's happening with this game? My usual, like, mathematical algorithm for who goes to the finals with me is not working right now. Okay, Duncan is the one eliminated, but I um, also made it pretty... or fell down a lot. So, now we're halfway. That means it's getting difficult. Uh, we're gonna go underwater right now to submarine uh, driving. And it's not the most difficult. The most difficult is the one after this one, I promise you. Like, sewer spill out. So, it, it's pretty easy. Um, uh, this level plays quite a lot with the currents, again, uh, but especially now underwater. It will speed you up greatly at some points, and then you'll be back to normal speed. And of course, this um, helps the computer a lot, because they are, or because they're like so good at turning. They can turn very good even at high speeds, high speeds but you can't, so you gotta be careful once you reach the, um, this area, the sewer spillage. Like, boom, you suddenly speed up. And then you gotta be careful not to fly right into that wall down there. And you gotta do a really sharp turn, which slows you down quite a lot. And one turn here in in um, sewer spill sewer sewer spewage. No, I don't. I forgot spill out. Um, features two of those speed up places. So if you go into the wall once, then the computer will certainly get you. And if you if you're caught here then if you don't get first place here, I promise you, I, I haven't never been able to win the next round unless I got first place here. Uh, I just haven't, because the next level is uh, my least favorite, at the same time favorite part of the game. It's still one of it's one of those few places in a video game where I still get like a bit a little bit of like a blood rush. Because I know that you can easily screw up on that level. And we probably will. Like I'm telling you already, I can probably screw up on the next level. I need to sit in deep concentration and make every turn perfect and not mess up once because if you do the computer will get you but then again the finals are so easy so it's kind of like okay maybe it's like maybe it's okay it's like a trade-off if you make it to the final two you're gonna win by a landslide because the computer sucks at that level it's one of my favorite levels too though uh, the last one but uh 
Okay, at least we're gonna start first uh, when it's the final free. That will actually help us a bit, cause okay, it's Johnny and Doctor Diabolical, which means that Doctor Diabolical is the one who has to go home next. <laughs> you will die, Doctor Diabolical, for what you've done. Because we are going to the haunted house, and we're gonna go to the dungeon danger. Uh, we haven't played this level before. We haven't. Um, and there's good reason for that. We can't fit eight people in here at all. That's impossible. Uh, we can barely fit three. And you'll see what I mean. It's like a mix of Rooftop Rampage and Persian Palace. It's just like sharp turns here everywhere. And I hate it. And I gotta be silent now because I gotta make this. If we crash into the wall once, we're dead. If we fall out once, we're dead. This is the hardest place. We gotta make a perfect turn here. Okay, we did it once. Only two more to go. And we also gotta make this turn, which can sometimes be a bit difficult. If you crash here, then you're screwed as well. And as you might see, the computer drives perfect. They're just behind me. And they will actually, once we get down to the next turn right now, usually the computer tries to, like, take you in. And damn it, I almost screwed up here. Whew. I hate this level so much. It is so difficult. It may not look very difficult. Oh god, we crashed, but okay. But I promise you, it is. It so is. Can't talk, can't talk. Oh god, too sharp turn. Oh god, okay, we made it. This is difficult, okay? It might look super easy, but it's not, I promise you. And boom, we're in the finals! I also fell down, but whatever. Whew, okay, that's nerve-wracking. But we did it. I'm, I'm serious. The <laughs> I know this probably doesn't look very exciting, but for me, that level is the worst. I die a bit inside every single time I see it. But we're down to the final two. It's me, Varuka, versus Johnny, and the Ice Flow Frolics. And I promise you, we're gonna win. If we don't, I'm gonna... Um, Eat my hat, and I don't even own a hat. I'm gonna buy a hat and eat it if I lose. That's how serious I am right now. Uh, because the computer can't handle those ice... Um, ice thingies in the background there. They just can't. Sometimes I mess up here on the first jump, where we have to, like, jump all on a whale. Ooh, that was close. We actually almost missed it. But here, if you just take a chance and gas immediately on all over the... Um, what do you call this? Like, ice... Ice something? Ice plateaus? Then the computer will, like, he will be standing there for such a long time, because he's a coward. Okay, Johnny has done a better job than I thought, uh, which color me impressed. He usually is a huge coward here, and we usually... Damn it, okay, but it doesn't matter. Even now, when we fell out, like, the computer isn't even close to actually getting us again. Uh, at some point, Sarah, I have actually been able to, like, do this one round quicker than the enemy. And right... Still not above the finish line. Boom! He didn't even get into the goal before the entire match finished. But boom! We are Knockouts winner with uh, Varuka. And boy, I hate... Or I love Knockout, and I hate Knockout. That means there's one game mode left, and that's the most difficult. One versus one. I absolutely hate it, to be quite honest. Um, the reason is that, you know, you have to get... You have to beat one character every single time that drives at its best on different levels. And some of the levels are crammed with eight characters. It's basically like championship, except that you need to get first place eight times in a row. Not just win three times. Uh, <laughs> And the levels are much more compact, so, like, you'll struggle a whole lot more, I promise you. I can't wait. Uh, for that, we're gonna use Duncan, I think. Uh, we didn't use Duncan in the championship modes, we're gonna use him in the one versus one mode. Duncan is, my, like, my last favorite character. Anyway, knockout winner, Varuka. And per usual, Mega Gra Grand Prix course and uh, bonus stages are enabled, even though they're not. <laughs> Whatever. And, bada bing, bada boom, the poke. No, not Pokal. That's not region Pokal. Uh, trophy. Boom. Number one. Boom. In your face. So, I've been a Binding Gamer. Thank you for joining us for this short episode of... Um, of... What do you call it again? Super Sonic Racers or Daredevil 3D. Um, I'll see you in the next episode where we will do some one versus one. Bye-bye.